Hey everybody, welcome to the Legacy of Mana quick mini session here just to show you how Legacy of Mana works for Pathfinder. We have uh, Team of the Manor here, Nat is project leader. We've got uh, Aaron, project manager, and then we have content developer Cameron. And we're here late at night in Lynn Vander Studios with our cool castle walls and stuff in the background. We just did our fifth ed video and now we are going to show you how Pathfinder plays and I myself am going to be GMing this uh, and free holding the camera so I apologize if this gets a little little nuts but uh, let's get started with just getting right into Legacy of Man of the Campaign setting um, if you, as you've read through the uh, the Kickstarter here you've probably read some really fun stuff about what Legacy of Man is all about there is our previously published guide uh, this guide here was published several years ago and has been sold out at the previous Gen Cons and whatnot uh, we can take a quick quick breeze through it so these people can chance to see it we didn't have one for 5th Ed we did do one for 4th Ed and one for Savage Worlds uh, so it's nice to go back and and bring fifth that into the development and uh, maybe someday in, in the future once we see this successful again we'll jump into other campaign settings uh, or other uh, mechanical settings for role playing so let's get right into this uh, we've got some cool characters and classes here we'll start over with Nat Nat what are you playing and what is it uh, what does this character do all right so I am Versailles aka 451 I'm the Lothirian knight uh, basically I drain men and kill people so these Dothirian Knights, it's the newest, sort of most unique thing about Legacy of Mana. It's a, uh, a magic draining knight. Yep. Very gross. I can, I can steal ma magic from magic users. Oh. I am playing Tyran Strongscar. I am an Iranian giant. They're sort of our take on the friendly giant. Uh, you know, they're a peaceful, uh, peaceful race. And uh, I'm just a big, scary grappler. Big, scary grappler. <laughs> so it's like, so they're, they're, they're related to ogres. And uh, the Naranian Giants related to ogres, but they're like Shreks. They're like intelligent, artistic, multiple Shreks layered. Intelligent yeah. <laughs> well, they're intelligent. I mean, like, you know, oh, he's got multiple, multiple layers. layers. Yeah, he's yeah. layers, layers, donkey, Thank layers. You. And you are playing. I am playing Samael Amakir. I am a level six fighter using the Ariel Lancer. Ooh, bring that miniature up. Let's see that miniature. Uh, I'm playing a Sky Elf, and the Ariel Lancer is a racial uh, fighter archetype for them that basically is all about diving on your opponents with a spear. Now, unfortunately, it looks like we're fighting indoors, so that might be <laughs> Yes, but <laughs> conveniently, <laughs> conveniently, uh, we, are, we are keeping this dungeon exactly as I mean, is. If there's, enough that I, if there's enough space that I can at least, like, lunge at people while flying, then I'm not completely useless. So a flying elf. Sounds cool. Yeah. How, how high are the ceilings in this building? Yeah, Maybe how, okay. Well, you haven't been in there yet. You, <laughs> I'm not giving away this, this completely revolutionary, no one's ever seen this dungeon before encounter until we actually get in there. So that being said, uh, we're gonna, you guys get the exclusive view behind the screen here and see all the cool things that they're about Tell to me encounter. Cheating? I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. That was last video when I put two twenties aside. But however, here we go. So um, as you approach the half-beaten, withered tower in the distance, some stone falling from the various levels, grass hasn't been maintained by travel for some time, and you see rusted bits of armor and wood uh, kicking about, all of which are useless, nothing worth trading. You see a lone guard standing in front of the doorway. The lone guard is wearing half-beaten, piecemeal, patchwork armor, and is holding a halberd. What, what brings us to this tower? Yeah, remind me again why we're here. You were just traveling. In Legacy of Mana, you guys, it's like a very warlord society. Uh, your characters are a motley crew that have been traveling, trying to avoid the old code Eltherians, which, um, for those of you that don't know, the old code Eltherians are simply out to destroy all forms of magic and commit genocide to any sort of magical beings. And uh, even though the empire, the, the actual campaign setting uh, takes place, the empire has fallen, uh, you still have to deal with uh, a pile of these people that are just out to murder. And since you're an Ariel elf, you're mana laden, which means that you're full of magic and they don't yeah. like you. Not a big fan. Are you sure there's only one guard? Like, I can't see anyone if I circle around. Uh, you're just going to fly around? Yeah, I'm going to give a quick fly around. All right, so perception. You're, yeah, go ahead and make that check. Uh, here we go. Now, you guys know this. He's going to be flying around. He's 22. Okay, so perception passed. But before I get to that, he plunges up and flies around, and that immediately uh, invokes the perception of this guard, who turns quickly and runs inside and slams the door. Okay. Your perception right. is that you see the guard immediately notice you and run in and slam the door. You, on the other hand, fly a full, a full 360 around this, this busted up tower. Yeah. And you, how high are you going, by the way? Uh, how high is the tower? Oh, it's about 13 feet. No, it's about 30 feet or so. <laughs> Wait, 
start 30 feet up? Yeah. Uh, I'll go probably 40 feet up and circle around so I can see the roof as well in case there's like archers up there because I'm not a fan of that. No, the roof is is quite plain actually. It uh, it's There's no hatches or anything that you can Damn see. <laughs> However, <laughs> um, the door right. is slammed shut. And well, Pretty Wing Boy does his thing. I'm going to I'm gonna draw my Verdium Greatsword and I'm actually just going to approach this gate. So you get this door. big, shiny, green steel sword, hungry for magic. Oh, so you, much magic. You know there's magic right here. You could just... I could, but like he's done some useful things. But for you me. could just take care of him right now. I mean, like that sword could just finish him off. Actually, I'm not strong enough to drain the life force yet. Oh, that's a later skill set. Okay. Comes at a later so level. you're going up to the door frame and doing what? Uh, you know, I'm just gonna. I was, I was about, I was about to be dumb and say I just knock on the door. I kick this. Why this wait, 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 down. What's wrong with knocking on the door? Because obviously he saw Pretty Boy and decided to run away. So my my. Can I land beside him yet? <laughs> I feel like obviously yeah, you land beside the him. reaction is let's like, kick this door down. Hey guys, there's no other entrances, and the guy ran off. I kicked the door way. down. Why are you kicking the door down? I, I I rolled a 27 to kick this door down. Boom. Okay, so I believe it's a uh, it's a straight open door. Yeah, a sturdy door is like 23. A crappier door is 18. All right. Well, this door, ka. Boom. Take that door. Um, and then I, I step on top of the door and uh, You have I, to observe your surroundings. I, uh, I'm just gonna take in my surroundings. Also, because I'm holding my Verdium blade, I'm just gonna do my magic sense and just check out what's in this room. All right, so you detect magic. Um, there's, this guy's actually here. He's got his halberd out and he's ready to, he's ready to take a swing. And uh, you see two guards, two burly looking guards in the corner. Each of them are armed with heavy crossbows and they're armed and ready to shoot. Do they, are those heavy crossbows magical? Uh, they do have a semblance of magic on them, yes. Ooh. So, they um, are action ready. Take a couple of shots. Oh, that's not ideal. All right, since these guys are a little bit higher end, I got a four and a five. Ha! They miss. Yeah, that's true. They're very not higher end. I know so you, you said they're higher end, but they're not. Yeah, so you just like, they just clink off of your heavy Ethereum armor, the green steel, blasting them aside into the stone. Why right. are you kicking down the Now we're going to roll initiative. Oh, roll initiative. Okay. Uh, that's good. You know, oh, improved initiative, okay, yes! Okay, so... 20, but 20. it's unnatural, so it's not me. 24. It's just a 24. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a while. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? I rolled a 5. A 5. Oh, Alright, so the 24 is gonna go first. What are you doing? What's your action? Oh my gosh, can I find a new party? <laughs> <laughs> the, the Ariel Lancer decides to spread his wings and fly high up no. to Lunalia, that, why you don't find a new party. Fly speed. Alright, I, um, I will politely allow you to walk by me. Yeah, I'm gonna walk past and come over into this corner here and be like, Whoa! Hi! Do, do we have to do the shooting and killing each other right now? Because I, I will. But if we can avoid it, I'd like to. Roll diplomacy check. Untrained, because I'm a fighter. <laughs> Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. So you were like, That's a you were like, whoa. And then the rest of the words kind of came out sounding like an incantation to a spell. And they were like, they, they're immediately taking it as, as another, like, they're angry. So they're loading their crossbows to shoot. So. Don't worry, Sam I You get to go. This. You get to go. The Ethereum. Oh, I get to go? Cool. I charge one of the guys with the magic crossbows. Okay. I'm going to charge uh, him. There's an attack opportunity on you from the polearm guy. I respect that. Okay. He can, he can fail. Uh, AC 27. Does he hit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so right, um, there goes my arrogance. <laughs> when it goes to, when it goes to hit you, the the halberd itself, you hear like a buzzing, crackling sound, oh, it's and amazing. it comes in for the hit. Lots of dice. Oh. Eighteen damage. Eighteen damage. Yeah. Just what is this guy cracking? <laughs> and uh, it's the crackling electrical energy just zaps into your thigh oh, and pushes you aside uh, as you brush past. So you fire past finally. All right. And then you make a strike. And these guys definitely have magical uh, crossbows, right? Oh, yeah. All right, all right. I'm going to make a sunder attempt on this crossbow. Oh, how is the, what, what is this going to do? Uh, so it's going to just take all the magic out of the crossbow and put it into my sword. Interesting. Essentially, except it's going to be anti-mana my sword, and then I'm going to ruin them with the anti-mana. Oh, gross. I'm just talking to people. Boom. <laughs> 19. All right. Uh, sunder attempt. That's plus my CM. I believe you get a, a, a critical. No, it's not. You can't do criticals on. Sorry, yeah, unfortunately, no. So that's yeah, uh, 27 to sunder this this crossbow. I do believe that is a sundering attempt. So you take the magic off of it. It has four 
oh. spell level, so they're very high powered crossbows. Dirty. You have just completely deadened it. You see, you see this crossbow which, which the soldier was holding up. He, it was almost like he was barely holding it at all. And now it looks like you can see his arms like deal with the weight of the crossbow. And you see this light sap off of the crossbow and go into your sword, which is now crackling with energy like this. <laughs> Cracking with energy, and oh, you have four. Man. You have four charges in your sword. Oh, All right. Man. Next on is them. So the crossbow guy, he doesn't know what to do. He's freaking. He's freaking out. So he's actually just going to turn and bolt. Attack of opportunity. No, because he's full retreat. Oh. And you don't oh, have a reach weapon. Coward. This guy, however, he's like, oh, and he drops his crossbow and he draws this long sword, and he steps into combat with you. Attack of opportunity. He's going around and in. Nice try. He's not moving through your threatened range. And he's going to make an attack on you. <laughs> so, nice big roll here. Uh, his attack. Oh, I gotta show attack the viewers what's going on. I just wanna hit things. So, 18 hit. Oh, ha! Ha ha! Take that, I have 19 AC. You roll your shoulder into it. And then shortly after that, this guy here, he goes in oh. right behind oh, this is not five feet ideal. back because he's got the helmet, and he takes a real swing. <laughs> oh, <you're wild. laughs> I'll, take a, I'll take a heavy swing at you. Oh. Any, any time now, guys, any time. 23? Oh, that's going to hit. 20, I that's, 19. All right, the crackle, the crackle goes off. Ow. 8, 11, only there's 13 this time. 13 damage? Yeah. Okay. He just stabs you in the back and he's like, there's no need for this. You will die. You will die for invading us. What? Okay, look, you invaded me. Ethereum no. scum, you hear. Okay, and that <laughs> you leaves- You kicked down their door. That leaves the big, crazy uh, Neranian giant. Oh, I get to move? Yeah. <laughs> you actually right. have a time. I'm, uh, I'm going to enter the, I'm going to enter the fight. Can you fit through that door? Um, How big are Neranian giants? <laughs> They're large. Nine feet. All right, so I should be okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah, just yeah. gonna be awkward for you. Yeah, so you just kind of squeeze in. Now, hold on. Uh, if you, you basically, because of your movement, you're gonna be kind of stuck here, but you can still hit him from here, because you, uh, I don't know if your character took the reach or not. Am I gonna be stuck there? I think so. Well, you're standing on four, because, because you're a large base, you're taking four hexes. Oh, I'm standing on a large base. Okay, yeah, what's, yeah. My, uh, what's my movement speed? Uh, 30 feet, so. But, it, you but if you move past that, if you move past that, he'll get an attack of opportunity on you. Uh, that's fine. Uh, no, he won't. He doesn't have improved reflexes, and he's taking his attack this turn. Yeah, 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 yeah beat him up. But you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so I am, I am going to step adjacent to him. All right, so you're adjacent to him. Take him I'm going to say, friends, why must we fight each other? And I'm actually going to go for a grapple attempt. Oh, gosh, this is going to hurt. So my uh, I use my CMB for that, is that correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm say, so I'm rolling plus 11 on my, uh, on my grapple attempt because oh, of my base attack bonus. We're playing six my, level uh, characters, by the way, everyone, so player. this is insane numbering. So 15 plus 11 is 26. That did his combo maneuver defense? Yeah, oh yeah, so I totally just, did. Yeah. So you just like <laughs> pinched him? Picked him up. All right, so I, I, I pick up the dude. Are you, are you like holding him like this, or are you like holding him in like a to choke? How are you holding him in super theory? I think it's fine, so you just were like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gently. Just, just, I'm, not, I'm not trying to break the guy. <laughs> All right, so he's, he's, a little, he's a little stunned, and his, his big long spear is not going to do very much. That brings us, uh, you're done at that stage. So that brings us back up to the top of the order, which is hey. you. Um, does does the guy with the sword look like he's ready to back down at all, being that this giant dude just walked in yeah, and his, picked up his friend? Yeah, the whites of his eyes are showing left, right, left, right, left, right. He doesn't uh, really know what he's doing right now. He's kind of... I'm going to flit over here. Yeah. Be like, can we stop with the trying to kill each other now? I don't think we need to be enemies. So he... That that's like entire action. You're just gonna use your action to try and diplomacy. Well, I. You know what? You know, if you were a blooded hero, if you were a Lin Vander, you could use your persuasion abilities to calm and change moods. Because Lin Vanders have the ability to change moods once per day, or multiple uh, times actually. I'm going to. You know what? I've got I've got a spear in hand. I, I'll get an attack opportunity if he tries to come and attack me. Yeah, I'll use my my turn to. Uh, okay. Just talk at him. So I will attempt to diplomance him again with my. <laughs> Do you say diplomance? <laughs> I appreciate. Even worse. Okay, it's it. so your diplomancing turns into it sounds like necromancy, and he's afraid you're summoning I'm something. Speaking common. He's afraid you're summoning something gross, so he just, he's kind of freaking right I don't out. I think these guys speak common. <laughs> I mean, I don't speak common. I speak Cremarian. Sorry. I don't think these yeah, guys speak Cremarian. <laughs> oh, what? They're not from around. I'm not even from around here, but I speak that. 
That's fair. I mean, I also speak slave tongue. Maybe they speak slave tongue. All right, you're up. Uh, I address him in slave tongue and say, do you speak slave tongue? This is just like a sweet, like a side so, question. So oh, the, you're trying to end the fighting now. No. <laughs> I'm just curious what language he speaks now. So the, so, so the... Kill him and say a prayer for him? The, no. The, the, the mook turns and, and he immediately is like, just he recognizes that what you're saying and he just doesn't know what to do. All right, so in slave tongue I say good, now die, and then I roll. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> do any of you guys speak slave tongue? I, I, no. I, I, I speak Theridian. <laughs> I speak Chimerian and Loon. No. Oh are you an old colonial Theridian? Uh, oh, you're playing Versailles. He's like a folklore. Yeah, he's, the, he's, a, he's a mean dude. He is a mean dude. Uh, so I just rolled a, uh, that is, hold on, I have the number back here. That's definitely a 29. Oh gosh. Uh, to aura blast him, and I'm burning all four charges into this blast. Oh my. And because I have improved aura blast as a feat, it actually just deals a d8 per tick instead. As opposed to d6? Yeah. So you're doing four die eight damage? Yeah, yeah, that's one more. So this is a non magical attack. It's also this is plus four. Oh gosh. So 48 plus four. So this Boom. is the brutality. What'd you get? What'd you oh doing? man, Those, there's two ones and two sevens. <laughs> <laughs> so you got an even. That's 20 damage. That's, that's a solid 20 damage. All right, so you hear him gutter, gutter something in a, in a, and you guys, neither of you speak slave tongue, right? Right. No. Okay, so not understanding the language of the slaves, uh, the Otherian guttural just says something guttural and, and almost secretive, and then all of a sudden you just see like his sword power up, kind of like a lightsaber in Star Wars, and then it just diffuses this energy. This energy just goes, <laughs> just like a white beam of pure hot essence burns through the soldier. Yep. And just just, just just kills him. He's, he stumbles back, his corpse hits the wall, he falls, his, everything's gone. All right, it says here I have two attacks. I'm gonna sunder the, the guy behind me, his halberd. Oh, okay. So I you, sunder the halberd. You gonna try and sap it? Uh, how does a 16? Nope, no. I'm afraid that's just no. too, too much. So you've, you've spent too much energy you focusing on murdering a helpless dude. Uh, helpless? He had a sword in hand. He was not helpless. Okay, so at this stage, uh, <laughs> the next thing on the list would be the guard, but he's dead. And then you've got the other guy that's being held, and he's just... He's just yelling because he's the only one that was speaking. No, what's he yelling? At? He was yelling in Crimean. He was oh, just yelling. He was Lord. yelling. He's yelling like, please, please, no, don't, don't let them kill me. Don't let them kill us again. <laughs> again, you've already died once. Don't, don't let, don't let them kill our, 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 our people again. Help! He yells. I, I think you and I are maybe with the wrong. Group here. <laughs> These guys seem like the good guys. So what are you gonna do now? What is this good and evil? Neranian giant. Uh, it's word of my turn. Yeah. I okay. so he's not doing anything. He's I thought paralyzed. they were bandits. They're can, not bandits. Can, can I set him aside? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can like, go and put him down. Like, can I just like pick him up over here? Because he's in my down. way. Yeah, you can put him aside. You can, you can, <laughs> are you gonna let him go? Yeah, I let him go. Because mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm gonna move in here. I think we need to end the violence here. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so. All right, so rolling with my uh, what's, what's the Altherian's uh, CM? Uh, oh. based on this, it's either 19 or 49. You want to make <laughs> It is not 49. I Somebody has bad temperature. I can guarantee it is not 49. 19. All right, well, well Cameron, it looks... So, I rolled a... <laughs> I can step from here and it's upside down. 24 against your 19. All right, um, can I do anything to defend against that, or am I just stuck being picked up by this gigantic freak of nature? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, <laughs> racist! Wow. Race, you're an Iranian. We uh, use you, we use you for... Cutting down trees and stuff. Oh my god. You're so big. This is getting brutal. <laughs> so what are you doing? What are you doing while he grabs? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he's got his weapon in hand. I don't you know got him the grappled. Guy would be like, I'm very sorry for this. So we're gonna go back up in initiative here. Uh, end of the round stops, so it goes back up to you. What are you going to do? Um, is the Halbert guy aggressive towards me? Is he, or is he still just freaking out? The Albert guy, he's he looks a, like he looks really confused. Yeah, so am I. You can make a perception check. Sure. That's a thing I can do. No. Seven? Yeah, he he looks like a like a person. Uh, what are you guys doing here other than dealing with that? So well, he has to wait for his turn to answer because we're still in combat technically, unless you guys want to release the combat. But uh, what are you going to do on your turn, Altherian? Because you're next. Um, do I still have my sword in hand? 
You do at the moment, yeah. magic sense. Does this filthy Noranian have any magic on him? <laughs> no, Noranians are magic deadened. They don't, uh... What if he's carrying a magic great sword? I do not have any magic gear. Right, I am, fine. Uh, I'm you know what? Deer. Magical you know items what? are actually extreme... That's another thing I should take into account. Magical items are extremely rare <clears throat> in this world. They're very hard because most of them have been destroyed. So the fact that these, these guys in here are loaded with items is something really off-cue anyway. I utter a slew of curses in Slave so that the dirty elf and the ugly Noranian don't understand me. And um, <laughs> otherwise, I just say, fine, I'll stop fighting. And I drop the sword, and then I just kind of look sad. <laughs> <laughs> you look sad. So, so we resolve the combat at this point? This yeah, then we resolve the combat. So, so you, you're, you're holding him there. You're paying attention to this sword thing. Perception check again? Okay. Ah, 24. I brush my hair out of my eyes. <laughs> so it flows in the wind. You brush right your hair out of the eyes and you notice that this guy, that the uh, that the soldier is outside of the door frame there, and he's kind of he's running away. I'll get him. I can get well, him. Well you're you're being held. You're being held right uh, now. I will fly after him because I have a 40-foot fly speed. Is anybody okay. else worried about the dude? So as you're starting to fly team? after him, yeah. you, you can hear him yelling. No! No! Oh, balls. Oh. This is your fault. You hear a How is this my fault? You hear a rumble. <laughs> and the rumble gets louder. I'm gonna keep flying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're out. You filthy coward! <laughs> there looks to be a series of gems in the wall that begin to crackle and erupt. Oh, and no. before you guys can make any real maneuvering, oh, they no. explode. Oh. So I need a saving throw? Oh yeah, what's, yeah. What's that, the uh, reflex, please? And now, is he at disadvantage? How does that work? Oh, I am totally at disadvantage. Right. You have you have no okay. So so long as you had your sword in your hand, yeah. you had uh, magic resistance. Yeah, but I dropped. But it. since you dropped the blade, the, the oh, so but before you kind of realize now that the halberdier was was uh, stalling, he was delaying for something to happen, and and this is exactly. Um. Okay. Uh. What do I get? Probably like a minus eight or something. No, you don't get any minuses. You just you don't get your you don't get your. Sp Oh, the grappling. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shh. Yeah, the grappling. I forgot about the fact that you're also <laughs> being held in place by a giant stone tower. Right, I rolled a three. Yeah, well. So, you, just, you just did. Right, mm -hmm. right, I'll just take this. <laughs> yeah, all right, What'd all you right. roll? Uh, I, uh, I rolled a 13. Right, let's take this, too. Uh, uh, you have well. to roll as well. Oh, even though I was flying out of the building. Yeah, well, yeah coward, pretty boy. Filthy locks. Reflex? It's too low of a ceiling for you to fly fly, so you had to kind of get a running start. Are, are you sure it's not fortitude? That's no, it's, much better. It's totally reflex. <laughs> 20. 20. All right, well, you fly <laughs> out of the building, and you look behind and see the entire tower collapse. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the helper guy is standing there watching. Oh, um, fine. He I says, need to play this he says anyways. disgusting Eltherians. That might have been overkill. And at least one of those two was my friend. So you're way up in the air, I guess, at this point. So he he, he looks at you and he's, he's just like, come down and fight me like a man. Uh, I'll come down, all right. I'm going to charge from the air, down at him. And I'm gonna try and ruin his day. <clears throat> so, I uh, get plus two on the charge. Yeah. This is a Lancer thing? Uh, it's just a, a charging mechanic, but because I'm charging downwards with a spear in hand, mm -hmm. uh, I will get to double the damage from my spear if this hits. Wow. So, uh, that's a 25 into Oh yeah, he's, yeah, he's not. It's a hit? Oh yeah. All right, for vengeance, where'd my D8 go? Oh, it's over here hiding behind my mini. <laughs> no, oh. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well your wings have just fallen off. <laughs> you know what, I just wrote out an explosion, I'm not surprised. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're pretty rough shape. All right, so. Six, How much uh, damage did you do to him? 14. Yeah, so he pierced into him. He looks like right. he's hurt pretty, he's hurt a little bit, but he's, he's holding his ground a little bit. And uh, yeah. yeah, we'll just we'll end it there. That was just a good example of how to get things going and how, how crucial and villainous this campaign setting could be. Uh, magic being rare to find, yet you guys managed to magically find it. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, any last minute thoughts or things you want to comment about uh, what you've done in the world so far or what you guys are working on? Uh, could you have pinned him to the ground at a higher level? 
At a higher level, yeah, the, the capstone ability of this fighter archetype is allows you to knock flying creatures to the ground or to ping creatures that are already on the ground to the ground with your spear. Ugh. And it does a, a ton of damage and there's a huge strength check to get it dislodged and it makes me way too happy. <laughs> <laughs> Can we comment on not getting a tower drop, dropped on me? <laughs> well, yeah. I, would, I, I would never do that. Uh, I didn't. I didn't realize that we had an evil party member. This whole time. Well, that's I mean, one of the my, my character sheet said chaotic good, but I figured that they were up to no good. So I was like, I'm gonna save. The Started day. making trouble in your neighborhood. Yeah, right. Well, we got one little fight, and the tower got scared. <laughs> you, you well, the the aerial got scared. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so yeah. this, for the sake of this uh, this little playthrough thing, it's just Ugh. we're just trying to show off some of these special abilities and stuff of some of the character sheets and or some of the character classes and races and stuff in the uh, legacy of Mana Universe. Thanks for watching this little tiny video.